Hey, it's Beth here, episode 385. I have never needed spa music as much as I need it today. Okay, so I went with my, I've been gone for like, I don't know, six days. Went to MD Anderson with my friend Trisha. And um, she has medullary thyroid cancer. Got a great review for that. Goes on to see this little breast person, right? Tiny problem. Person comes back and tells her that she has nipple nipple debris. Like that's not a nice thing to say to somebody. And then she says it's from having neglected nipples. I'm like, how dare you? How dare you talk to my friend like that? You don't know anything about her nipples. Why don't you call it nipple fluff or nipple loveliness or debris and neglected? I was like, oh my God, it reminded me of my doctor visit where Dr. Melody, who looks exactly like Barbie, this bladder doctor, told me that my gallbladder collapsed. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you about my gallbladder. I'm here just about the bladder, the other bladder. What are you, what are you telling me this for? She goes, oh, it's just my job. I have to tell you everything that I find on the x-ray. I'm like, don't. Don't ever do this to someone. Why can't you just, instead of saying my gallbladder collapsed, why didn't you just tell me my gallbladder got thinner? Why do you have to do this? Then I was thinking, I knew this lady, she was lovely. And she couldn't get pregnant. And the doctor said, oh, that's the other thing. The doc, okay, so with my gallbladder, she told me the risk factors of having a gallbladder collapse. Because I said, what do I have to do about it? You think I would have heard something? A thud? A tiny thud? She said, no, it's fine. The risk factors are being female and over 60. She said, do you have a family history of it? I said, my sister-in-law had something happened. She's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. She said, listen, don't worry about it because... I said, because I'm older? She said, because you're older. We're not going to do anything about it because you're over 65. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I had this friend who was trying to get pregnant. This was like 40, 43 years ago. And the doctor told her she had a hostile vagina. Like, why tell somebody that? Why not just say she has an argumentative vagina or overeducated vagina you know just we can't handle these things so I have this friend she's married to a doctor she went out and got her hair cut I went over to his house came in through the dog door and I said sit down Chris sit down I need to talk to you you need to tell me everything about medical slang because I'm starting to feel like it's a little bit unkind I said, I'm not going to tell you anything. I said, yes, you are. Yes, you are. So he started. He goes, okay, I'll just tell you a couple of them. A couple of them. An ALP. I said, okay, what's an ALP? He goes, acute lead poisoning. Gunshot victim. Like, that is so cold. Then he says, AGA is acute gravity attack. When somebody falls down. I go, go on. He goes, ALS. Okay, I really hate to do this, but ALS. I said, what is ALS? He said, absolute loss of sanity. Oh my God. He said, then there's one we hate more than anyone. It's called asmosis. I'm like, what's that? He said, that's when one of us get, gets promoted by ass kissing. Oh no, here. I said, there's more. You're hiding it. I can tell because you're you're reaching for saltines and no one eats saltines unless they're under duress. He just looks at me and he goes, are you gonna tell my wife about this? I said, if, if you talk, I won't. So he goes on and he said, okay, there's really a bad one and I've never done it myself, never, never. I said, what is it? He goes, D&D. &D. What's D&D? &D? Divorced and desperate, old female, patients who come in for male attention. I said, I bet that one has gotten so many women undiagnosed. 
He said, okay, there's another one for younger people. It's called D-U-B, Damn Ugly Baby. I'm like, that is horrible. That is horrible. He cracked, he coughed on his saltines and he said, we give out awards. I'm like, you guys are so sanctimonious. This is horrible. He said, here's another one. And you gotta watch out for this. He was starting to crack, starting to give it all up. I could feel it. His face, it was bright red. It was getting back to normal. He said, G-O-L-P. I was like, what's G-O-L-P? He goes, oh, <laughs> General, generalized old lady pains. I'm like, oh my God. I have got to tell everybody about this. The over 65 crowd needs to hear this one. He goes, when you need an antibiotic after all this time on earth, you might need Gorilla Psyllin. I'm like, what's Gorilla Psyllin? He said, if you say Gorilla Psyllin to a doctor, he's going to know you have a doctor in the family and he's going to treat you better. So what is Gorilla? What is What is it? Got it. I wrote it down. Gorillacillin is powerful antibiotics. That is so inside. Doctor's gonna know he better be careful with you. You got family. Okay, here's another one. He said, if you've, you really wanna tell your people about this? I said, yeah, I am doing God's work. I want my over 65 and talking people to hear this. He goes, okay, this is the biggest one we've got. It's the ugliest bit. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to tell him any, I'm not going to give him any names. I'm not going to tell him where you live. Tell me what it is. He said, we call it LOL. Little old lady. Little old lady. Little old lady fell down. LOL. FD. We've got this. It's terrible. It's 65 year old women who are trying to stay in shape and they play tennis and they they get bursitis in their shoulders. They get their shoulders, you know, separate. They get knee injuries. And we call them L-O-I-T-S. L-O lights is what we call them. L-O lights, what is that? He said, little old ladies in tennis shoes. I'm like, you guys, you guys have got to be kidding me. He said, nope, nope. We got little old ladies with Botox, you gotta tell them they look good or they're not gonna listen. I'm like, this is horrible. He said, we've even got an import. L-O-I-T-S. I'm like, what is that? He said, it's from England, so we almost feel good about it. Little old ladies in twin sets. Those sweater sets. It has to do with tea drinking and putting whiskey in your tea in the afternoon big group of women in America now. We have this other one about old ladies. Little old ladies OPD. Little old ladies with an obnoxious personality. I'm like, how can you separate us from all the other obnoxious personalities? He said, you have time to do the research. And you come into the office, you've been on the internet, and you tell us what the symptoms are and what the disease is. And it's obnoxious because half the time you're right. I'm like, why don't you just say nice things? He said, we can't. He said, okay, I'm going to give you one word that you have to watch out for. It's actually two. What's one word and a letter? I'm like one word and a letter. Stop chewing. I can't understand you. He said, it's called Ward X. Don't let anybody say Ward X in front of you. That's the morgue. They come out, they laugh, and they got CT, word, word X, close to. Don't let them say that to you. You just don't. You tell them you've got a son who's a doctor. Tell them anything. Just get them off that scent. A baby catcher is a guy who's an obstetrician. That's a nice thing. I said, I'm going to give the last thing, the very last thing I'm going to tell you. We have an expression for ourselves. Blade surgeons. There's a, they're this new kind of metro millennial guy that's showing up 
women, female, everything, they're all blade surgeons. They're dashing, bold, arrogant, arrogant, and they're often wrong, but they're never in doubt they're right. Try to find yourself a nice Marcus Welby. I'm like, aren't all the Marcus Welbys retiring? He said, we're being cooked out, we're being cooked out, we're being chased out. They're starting to call any doctor over 60. They're using a euphemism against them, one that we used for many years. They're calling us crumbles. A crumble is anyone over 60. 65 is crumbled, crumbled to perfection. CTP. That's why I'm retiring. That's why I'm here. That's why I was happy you even walked through the dog door. I need someone to talk to. He said, there's another one that has morphed into trouble. This last thing I heard on my way out the door. It's called Elf. It was made for little kids. It's evil little F blank ers. But they've morphed it into old people too because we're little because we shrunk don't let anybody ever call you an elf not even if it's Christmas not even if the movie's playing don't let people do it the last one it's gotten worse and worse it's called a full moon nobody wants to work on a full moon it's called the gun and knife show it's an every single emergency room across the country now. He said, if you have a problem, try to hold off till five o'clock Sunday morning. Let everything happen and then get there later. And he said, this is what I'm trying to do. Would you like a drink? I said, of course I'd like a drink. He said, I'm making, I'm working on making the very best margaritas in the world. I want one to do you, one to make you happy. He said, because I want to be an HBD. And I said, what? What is an HBD? And he started shaking it like in a martini shaker. I'm like, Chris, stop, stop, just stop. He said, I can't. I want to be an HBD. I'm like, what's an HBD? He said, has been drinking or he'd be dead. Okay. And he said, one more thing as you take this and you drink it. Okay. Don't let anybody ever call you a hippo. Okay. That's what they call anyone over 65. That is of the female sex. Don't let them call you that. Let them call you an HBD. They'll have respect for you. You've been drinking or you'd be dead. That means when you fall down, you're like a baby. Like the Irish thought that God protected babies and drunks. Chris believes that being a little drunk, not a, not not really loopy, just a little, just one, that when you fall, you relax, kind of like a football player or a toddler. You just kind of roll into it. So be an HBD, have a little drink, four or five, six o'clock. You know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be happy hour somewhere and has been drinking or he'd be dead. Chris said, that's all I've got for you. And he said, I'm very, very, very embarrassed about all of this. He said, you know what? I was an ALS, absolute loss of sanity. Being a doctor is a lot of work. There's a lot of stress. I said, you're making excuses. He said, ALS, absolute loss of sanity. He said, I'm coming back to my sanity and you're the first fir- first person I've been honest with. I said, you know, I'll take it to my grave. Although at first I'm gonna tell everybody about it and then I'll take it to my grave. He was like, get out. I said, the dog door? He said, the dog door. But listen, I got all the facts for you. You got them now. Remember these things, do not. Okay, ATS, here's the last one I'm gonna give you. ATS, don't let them say this to you. It's acute thespian syndrome, faking illness, okay? ATS, don't let them say that to you or don't let them call you a little old lady. Laugh out loud. They're not laughing in the hallway. That's not funny, okay? We just need a little 
we need to remain sane. We need some, we need some help. So I'll do my nice podcast that I was going to do tomorrow. It's funny. It's great. It's lovely. I just needed to do, what is this? A public uh, emergency, a public, you know, statement. I just need everyone over 65 to understand that they think we're a joke. Okay. So let's just get ready. Let's get ready for going out there. I thought going to restaurants was hard, but doctor's offices have so many expressions they think describe us and they're wrong. So, you know, let's just, let's just, let's just get back to them. You know what? You can, you can call them names. You can say, you know, ALS, or you can say, there's a, there's a bunch of them. There's crazy, there's crazy fun ones. Just, you can go AQR when he's talking. Ain't quite right. AQR. He'll stop in his tracks. AQR. And then show him all the stuff you learned on the internet. Just slow him down. Okay? I mean, we got to remain sane, but we need help. It's a tough doggy dog world out there. Anyway, I'm trying and I'll get back. I'll be fun tomorrow. Bye-bye.